Hello. So, I know you may be reading the title and thinking, but hasn't it already been proven that what Carson done, has done is illegal and very bad and just da 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 da? Well, not exactly. And, um, I'm here to discuss that. And, um, because I don't want to base this off of morality, let's look at the legality of it. And, well, attack some of the creators who attacked Carson for this seemingly on, on or near the same day the accusations came out. So, let's get started. First off, let's start off with the facts. And the facts are that this is a planned attack on Carson. And how do we know this? Well, Bo Black's a, you know, a YouTuber who reads out tweets, got a DM in November talking about how basically he'd need to watch out for the next few weeks for a certain fat-necked guy involved in drama. And this means that they had already been planning it out since this point. And then, January 1st, 2021, they had said to turn on notifications for Noah H. Hugbox, one of the people who were involved in the Carson drama. This would mean that A, this was planned, and B, the allegations might be shaky. As if this was planned, that means that the allegations had to have been planned too. So, let's look at the allegations themselves. So, first off, the pedophile part. Carson is not a pedophile, and this can be proven um, through natural brain thinking in that 17 and 19, with, you know, morality-wise, and legality... In both states, there is protection for this type of relationship to um, take place and this same sex thing to happen. However, everyone seems to be basing this off of federal law, including the accuser. So let's attack that too. If Carson were to be arrested for, because of a possession of child pornography, then the girl too would be arrested for production and production and possession of that same child pornography. And that would mean that they would both go to jail. Permanent, well, for however long they would, depending on the sentence. So, that, but neither of them did. And this can be proven as Carson still talked to Ludwig recently in his live Twitch chat. And in the past, and these laws still take place as Slimesickle called the feds on Carson, and guess what the feds did? Nothing. In that, at that time, Carson was still uploading and live streaming. But the feds didn't take any action. Why was this? It's very clear why it was. Because legally, there were laws to say that, hey, they were, they're just horny teenagers. And that's proven by reading out the full DMs. And speaking of the full DMs, the one mistake with the allegations is that you can see all of the DMs. Every single one. And so, if we look at the DMs and read through them all, and just look at them, we can see that it's more of... Carson being uncomfortable with it at first, and then her still kind of egging him on and complimenting him here and there. Well, he's very clearly just stating that he's uncomfortable with it and that he, you know, really isn't that okay with it. And there's two pieces of information that we need. She was still slightly egging him on and complimenting him on his haircut, which... His haircut isn't that good. But, um, this means that, hey, this is all lies. And then the second part of it is just them being horny teenagers, as proven out previously. 
And to talk about the power dynamics thing, the power dynamic argument is completely stupid, as this would also apply to PewDiePie and Marcia, as PewDiePie met Marcia because Marcia was a fan. Yes, it was while he had hundred, only like a couple hundred subscribers, but he had more subscribers than more subscribers than she did. And heck, even now he has a lot more subscribers than she does. So this would imply that same power dynamic, and yet that doesn't happen. So the power dynamic argument is bad at best. And um, for the rest of this, the 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 attack was clearly planned. Again, as I said previously, and frankly, it's sad to see that Carson won't respond to this, as these are very destructible arguments, and yet he won't respond. And this was more of a summarization and a non-in-depth video. If you want to see an actual in-depth thing, I'd recommend watching um, some guy, I don't remember exactly what his name was, it was like Crows of Judgment, and I'll just leave a link to his stuff in the description down below, because those videos are basically where I got most of my information from, and um, yeah, this is me defending Carson in a more non-biased way, and frankly, it's sad to see that J-Slot and the others would betray Carson like that. And for the final piece, if Carson has kept the pictures, then yes, that is legal. But if he doesn't have them, then he's completely fine. That's that. Overall, I can't believe me, out of all people, had to make this video, but, you know, no one else will. No big YouTubers, no one. Literally, no one will. So, ultimately, there's, like, two actual YouTubers out there who are actually willing to make videos defending Carson and not just calling out Carson for views and not looking deep enough into depth into the situation. So, overall... That's the situation, as I said, and see you guys later.